All right, what is going on, everyone? Thank you all so much for stopping by the Card Dojo. My name is Sean, and this is my journey into modern day card collecting. All right, it is Saturday, therefore, it is mail day. Last week, we did a review of everything I collected in six weeks, and it was kind of uh, crazy. Now, I have a pacifier, guys. This right here is what we call a pacifier because I have been whining, and complaining, and crying. This will pacify me, and we'll get to it. Also, I have this one card. <laughs> we don't need this, because I'm not going to slice and dice anything today. But, um, first thing I want to do is kind of go over what I've recently obtained since that video last Saturday. I've actually bought 15 more blaster boxes, because I have no self-control. Um, I bought, and some of these are back here already, I bought two of these from the Card Dojo eBay uh, subscriber. He's a member here, hanging out. Uh, I also bought three of these elites because they will be in the battle. I already have three illusions. So we now have elites and illusions for the next round of blaster box battles. Additionally, for the blaster box battles, two of the unlimited, I'm sorry, unparalleled are here. And I got two more coming from... Macari, actually. My first time buying something from Macari, but when the price is right, I'll jump on it. And uh, every blaster box I'm showing you today, I bought for retail price, 20 bucks, maybe 20 50 uh, and shipping for these because I had to have them shipped. Uh, so these were like 20 bucks each plus shipping. So when I see a deal like that, guys, I'm jumping on it, especially when I'm trying to do a blaster box battle round. Um, just for the hell of it, I got two Panini Contenders, guys, we let them back in. Um, so we got four autos to find in these two blaster boxes as the rain starts pouring down in my neighbor neighborhood. Um, when I went to find the uh, 2020 Prestige, I also happened to find not one, not two, but three Chronicles blaster boxes. Uh, I'm going to save these maybe for like the 2020 series of uh, Blaster Box Battles, which will be after the 2019. Right over here is the NFC Champion, and I'm waiting to find out who the AFC Champion will be. So we have Illusions, Elite, and Unparalleled will be in the next round. Can you guess who the fourth box I want to get for that challenge is? That's taking me so long. Um, one more blaster box I got is this Series 2 Topps Baseball, which weighs like 50 pounds. Um, I got that because while I was on my hunt, the first one I went to had nothing for me. So I picked up that one box because I had a ton of them. Let's get onto some cards, guys. Here's what we're all here for. I got one card that I bought specifically, and uh, they did not package it well. How do you guys feel about receiving cards in envelopes like this? When they like lick the glue and the glue gets all over the card. Personally, I'm not a fan, but this was a cheap card under $4. So I guess he didn't really want to pay that much on the shipping. That's probably where his profit came from was, I think the shipping was just as much as the card was. And then he actually shipped it in an envelope that, uh, Cost more. Why? This is not. Is this painter's tape? Because I feel like it's not really. No, the painter's tape's inside this bag. So he went above and beyond with the packaging inside, but not really the envelope. All right. Finally. Cut. I'm sorry. Michael Hardman Jr. Contenders patch. Contenders napkin. I mean. So. Not bad for the little Mikkel Hartman Jr. PC I got going on. It's the green parallel. And like I said, this buck, this card was under four bucks, so I didn't mind doing that. Now, on to the main attraction. A.B. Breaks is back in the house. As you know, he stops by here regularly. As you also know, he packages his cards very well, so I already sliced these, but I have not looked at them yet. So we're going to find out what I was able to obtain in this week's group break. Now, I'm saying that I will be pacified because I've been complaining about Clyde Edwards-Alaire. I know, it's getting annoying. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys actually watched Thrice Aroni, uh, the Kansas City treat. I even asked him a question on his like Q&A that he did like a week and a half ago. And he actually answered my question. First one in the video, if you watch like the first 15 seconds of his video, I'm already whining and complaining about Clyde Edwards. So, here's a couple other breaks we got. We got some Nico Harbin Juniors. We got Travis Kelsey. This is a Contenders 2020. I was looking for Clyde Edwards. We got a lot of Kelsey's and a lot of, a lot of Hardman's. So we did get a Patrick Mahomes and a Baker Mayfield. So Pat Mahomes is showing up. Patrick Mahomes is showing up again. And then he's in a sleeve with a couple of his buddies. Let's just see. My guess is these will all be Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I'm not going to waste your time or mine. There's like uh, three of them in there. Three Mahomes. There you go. We did get, guys, Clyde Edwards Elaire. Game day ticket. Uh, and his twin brother. Touchdown! And then we Kansas got a Shea City. Patterson auto. So we got a little 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 hit from that little box. I think I maybe paid like twenty something dollars for that break. But I got a lot of Mahomes and I did get the Clyde Edwards game day ticket. We'll put them right there. Um, this was three breaks total, so I had a legacy, and the legacy was the Giants. Because the Chiefs are expensive, for the most part. Um, so Sterling Shepard, we we we've already seen all these legacy base cards. I got them all already. Lawrence Taylor again. Uh, Xavier McKinney again. Uh, probably a whole sleeve full of Xavier McKinney's. But we did get a Saquon, numbered. Uh, 299, number 145. So let me just kind of show that off a little better. The red parallel, which always looks nice for the Giants. So we'll we'll put you uh we'll put you well he fell down, so we'll put you over there. Okay. Uh Xavier McKinney, another couple rookies there. And then to add to our Danny Dimes collection, we got out of 199, number 150. Daniel Jones. Orange. Not bad. So now here we go, guys. This was actually... Can you believe that? I was looking forward to score. I uh, I got the Giants in a previous score. So I hadn't had the Chiefs yet. So I wanted to get in on this. And this is his last break that he's going to do for score. So let me just put them down. And slap through what we got. A little inserts. A little Travis Kelsey. To the next level. In the zone, the yellow parallel. So now I have uh, the red, the yellow, and the base for the in the zone. I think I'm a snow game guy. I don't know why. Add to the Patty Mahomes. I kind of like it. Pat Mahomes in the snow. Now I, I found out that I actually had pulled this card despite not realizing it. I'm thinking from my hobby box. I started just, like skimming through the cards at ludicrous speed. So I haven't, I have not done this yet. Let's just see the fun fact. His favorite movie is Remember the Titans. There you go. We've waited all this time to find that out, guys. And then not only did we get one, two, we got a full, full house. Uh, Royal Flush. Five of a kind, which is impossible unless you're playing with the Jokers. All the Patty Mahomes throwing in the snow. Uh, one of those might be a PSA 10. Maybe I'll get it, like, uh, you know, graded. All right. Uh, Kalijah Lipscomb. There's a lot in here, so this might all be him. It is. He's actually our uh, undrafted receiver. And then we do have uh, Shea Patterson, who is the quarterback who will hopefully never step foot on the football field. Even though I have his autograph, which I already lost. Where did his autograph go? Um, I don't know. I clearly don't care about the guy. Because I lost his autograph within like half a minute. Touchdown! Guess what, guys? We are stacked. With Clyde Edwards. Oh, he's, he separated them all for me. We are stacked with Clyde Edwards, Allaire, rookies. I'm sorry, hold on. There's another one. And then guess what? Just for kicks. Victory! With horrible lighting. Let's throw in a gray parallel. Look at all of these Clyde Edwards guys. I hit the Clyde Edwards jackpot. I don't have to complain about him not being in these products anymore. In fact, the less products he's in, the more rare his rookie cards become. 
So, that's it. No, I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. There's also a Damian Williams scorecard. And here's what I've been looking forward to. Boom. That's right. That was the worst reveal ever because I have horrible lighting still. Clyde Edwards autograph, guys. I finally got what I was looking for. Uh, it took going back to score to catch this. But there you go. Look at all those Clydes. Hold on. Hold on. Look at all these Clydes, guys. The Clyde Edwards Alaire PC just blew up at an atomic level. Fantastic. Oh, there's his rookie. And there's so I got two of the Chiefs uh, rookie quarter, rookie player autographs. So my luck with Mr. A V breaks has been fantastic. I always appreciate them and uh, I'll be going back more and more often. I'm trying to get some legacy because that box is too expensive. So a lot of stuff going on here. Should I do a little recap or was the whole video a recap once again? I think the whole video was a recap. So I'm just going to wish you guys all a great weekend and then I will say thank you for stopping by. Take care.